Hello, Aidan Cushnahan, Dairy Link Ireland Advisor here, giving a brief summary of some of the strategies being employed by project farmers regarding parasite control with heifer replacements this summer. Heifer replacements represent a significant investment on dairy farms, and Dairy Link farmers have been rearing their heifer replacements to specific targets uh, to maximise the economic return from that investment. For example, Average age at first calving is targeted at around two years of age and almost are expected to reach a weight approaching 600 kilos at that stage. In addition to this, heifer replacements are expected to reach various weight targets during the rearing period. For example, heifers approaching 15 months of age or first service are expected to reach a target weight of around 350 to 400 kilos. And the current photograph you can see where Richard Marshall was weighing his heifer replacements last winter to assess them for that purpose. Heifers are also weighed throughout the rearing period. For example, here you can see Stephen and Hazel Wallace have been assessing heifers during the first grazing season, weighing them to check wild live weight gains at grass. Heifer replacements face a number of challenges throughout the rearing period, none more so than that posed by the likes of lungworm infection or gastrointestinal parasites. To that end, a conference call was organised between myself, Sarah Campbell from MSD, at the Project Farmers, and Peter McCann from the Irish Farmers Journal to discuss this in more detail, with a view to identifying points and issues which the farmers could then discuss with their own local vets in relation to preparing an animal health plan. The following slides and audio clips describe a summary conversation which then took place between Sarah and Peter afterwards which highlighted the points which were uh, identified during the conference call. Um, the other one there, Sarah, was just in the young in the group of, of young stock coming forward. Um, when we would talk about you know like like a long worm management and that, um, you would often just think about dosing, or what's your dosing regime, and, and, and this and that. And obviously, that, that's a, a whole other topic. It can be very complex with, with various products, but. You were also saying just about pasture management and how can farmers manage the their young stock of grass to really minimise that worm burden? Um, what's the different steps they can take? And what is the what is the common pitfalls that you would see a lot of farmers around the country doing that are they're doing wrong at the minute? Yeah, so there's there's a few different things that we need to think about when we're trying to control um, worm burden and our strategies and our approach to that. Um, and so dosing, of course, is one um, arm of control, but there are other things that we should think about, such as how we uh, manage pastures. Um, and quite frequently, a lot of dairy herds the um, animals in the first grazing season or the second grazing season often are turned out to the same pasture every year. And this would be pasture that would be heavily contaminated um, with worm uh, eggs and larvae. And so it's just important to have a little think about what is the risk on that particular pasture. Um, things like um, having sheep grazing the pasture can be quite useful um, at the back end of the year just to clean it up because sheep can mop up those worm eggs and larvae and generally they, those particular strains that are in uh, their cattle are susceptible to don't cause disease in sheep. So use in other species can be quite um, a good thing. Um, turning calves out on to pasture um, that have had calves grazing either at the back end of last year or um, earlier on in this grazing season, we would class that as high risk pasture. Um, pasture that we're turning calves out to that have had maybe adult, um, maybe yearlings or, or adult animals, that will be medium risk pasture because we know that cows will do have the same effect to mop up some of the larvae as well. Um, pasture that has been used to cut silage or hay, so if we're turning calves out onto fields that have been um, used for um, collecting forage, um, that will have a fair, that will be fairly low risk as well, um, simply because a lot of the worm eggs and larvae will have died by the time they're turned out onto that particular field, so um, it can be quite useful. So 
people. So I think we're all guilty of turning calves out to the same fields every year and um, because they're handy or they're close to the yard or they're, you know, to bring in the goats. But just having a wee bit of a think about the level of contamination on those fields after a certain length of time is, is important when we're thinking about the level of infection that they're going to be exposed to. So to summarise, it's important to weigh heifer replacements on your farm to ensure that they reach target weights during the rearing period and calve down at an average age of two years. The preparation and implementation of an animal health plan in consultation with your local vet will help you to achieve those targets and use the animal health plan to minimise issues associated with lungworm and other parasites. And finally, review grazing options to minimise the impact of these parasites. Thank you for watching and please check out the other Dairy Link Ireland presentations on Caffrey TV. Mm -hmm.